All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're coming to the uh, game's cage today. And today, and only today, literally only today, we have a very special guest. Um, you probably all of you who listen to this probably know him as Ultron on Twitter. He makes uh, amazing, um, amazing edits. Basically, uh, he's an idol to Jeff. Jeff looks up to him. It's like uh, Jeff's dad, basically. So very good. And uh, you guys, do yourself. Fatal, what do you start? Uh, this episode is brought to you by Magic the Gathering. Magic, Magic the Gathering will now Magic play a CGI Gathering. trailer for a card game. We, will, we are specifically sponsored by Magic the Gathering. Uh, I might mention it a couple of times yeah. throughout the episode we've, because we are clearly sponsored by we've Raid unfortunately, Shadow Legends. Unfortunately, we've been kicked off by Raid Shadow Legends, so Magic yeah. the Gathering is now the new sponsor. Magic the Gathering. So, uh, are we sponsored by Magic the Gathering? We're definitely sponsored by Magic the Gathering. Is, uh, that's, that's what's happening here. So, yeah, as Pio said, we're here with the podcast crew. We've got Ultron this week. We've got our usual Jeff boy, Jeff. Hi. I'm fucking fuck? depressed as fuck. <laughs> for obvious reasons. If you, if you really <laughs> okay. want to get it, Jeff, just say Virgil DLC. <laughs> And I mean, it's not the fact that version was in there that it's it's every fact that I yeah I believe it was him because there was, that's fake sweet. For those who don't that's know, fucking, yeah. there was a impersonation <laughs> of ne- Nebellion on Twitter, and there was a fake account, and Jeff saw the tweet and thought it was real, and started freaking out, and then realized it was <laughs> fake and had the biggest meltdown ever. <laughs> Because yeah. when he posted, I lost it. I was like, oh my god, he fucking did it, dude. Holy shows. And then he was like, oh, oh. So, yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, this week we're going to, we'll do the usual stuff where we talk about the games we've played. We'll go through some news. But obviously, the big thing we're going to go through will be the game awards, the disappointments, the winners, the losers, the announcements, and go through everything and just have a big old conversation about it. So, let's start it off. Ultra. Since you are our guest, what games have you been playing the the while the past few weeks or so? Yeah, so uh, first of all, yeah, just first of all, just thank you for having me here. It's it's an honor. No We're happy to have you. And it, yeah, thank you. And in, ter- in terms of games, I've been playing admittedly. I haven't playing haven't played too much because you know final exams and all. Uh, that all right, stuff. yeah, yeah. The good news is I'm pretty much done with that sort of stuff. I just have one more, and then yeah, okay. But, but in terms of games, um. I've been playing older stuff, believe it or not. Uh, one game I have been playing is uh, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, which is a game I have not nice. played in like, I have not played in a decade. And it's a game I've fallen off of grace. And I thought, oh, it's probably this, this outrated thing because, like, like especially recently, uh, we've had all these people who are like, we need this game remastered. Let's remaster Thousand Year Door. Like, I think you guys yeah. are aware of the hashtag. So it's like, yeah. Yeah. Hey, of course. A couple of weeks ago, I just got curious, so I just downloaded the game, got the HD stuff, and I'm just like, it's like <laughs> this is a 2004 game, and I was like, even it's yeah, I, I had to use HD textures, but it's like it still holds up well. It's like yeah. 15 yeah, years yeah, yeah. later. Yeah, I mean that's what I've always loved about the Paper Mario style is it's so stylized that it ages no matter what, like it just looks. So Fidel, you're fa- like, are you a fan of Color Splash? Uh, am I a fan of Color Splash? So I thing color splash is hilarious like i actually played and it's one of the few games where i genuinely laughed out like loud like multiple times like throughout the game because it has mario in it because it has mario exactly because it has mario that's the only reason i love it uh but obviously like the combat system is my favorite thing in the world but i think the the comedy in that is hilarious so if the next game can keep the dope humor from Color Splash, but have the regular old combat system from Thousand Year Door, you're looking at a magical game. Nice. I think next year it's time. I think next year it's time for Yes, it is. Mario. So have you been playing anything else, Ultra? Um, once I beat Thousand Year Door, and yeah, it, yeah I'll, just qu- I'll, I'll just quickly say it's been like, you know, 15 years. It's like we haven't gotten the proper sequel. Like, Yeah, man, we need one. Next but, year. But, but yeah, once I finish that, and you know, once Monday, I, I need I I'm I'm late to the party, but I need to start Fire Emblem Three Houses because everyone keeps oh talking God. about it. Everyone yeah. keeps yeah. telling me all like it, so I need to play it. So yeah, no, so that, that's next on the 
I, 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 was go, I was going to play it when it came out, but then I went on vacation and then I had to do oh, personal stuff. And then, and then before I knew when school started, so I didn't have time yeah, to start. I get it. So. I get it. Yo, FE's yeah. very, very good game. Yeah, you have to play because if you don't, Jeff, uh, Jeff actually hunts down anyone what? who doesn't play Fire Emblem. Yeah, yeah, like you'll just see a yeah. message in your DM. You've been hunted. You required. You required to play. You required to play Fire Emblem within the next month. To follow me. As far as it hasn't happened, to what? Me now, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. You what really you're kill me, Jeff. What the fuck? I, I, I have to start. Yeah, I had to start uh, Fire Emblem because it was That's like... That's fucked. No, 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 no. It's actually different because you were talking trash about this game without even playing. That's what is that? <laughs> I've never done it. And well, to, remind, has... to remind everyone, we are sponsored by Magic the Gathering. Yes, yeah, don't forget to <laughs> sprinkle that in every yeah. sub. Pio, what have you been playing since actually you did start Fire Emblem? Yeah, I completed about uh, over half the game, but about two-thirds yeah. of Fire Emblem. Um, I picked the Black, Black Eagles, mm -hmm. and I can't. I, I think it's hard to go into details without giving spoilers. But yeah. basically, uh, the only thing I don't like is the gameplay because of the game itself. But the story is good. Uh, the characters are good. The voice acting is good. The soundtrack is good. But I, I don't like. I don't like. like the, the, the only thing I don't like is the actual game. <laughs> what a guy! What a piece of shit you are. <laughs> Dude, no, my, my Fidel, best, uh, Fidel, are you really going to say that? Best. You said the same thing about Death Stranding, so don't Yeah, because Death Stranding actually has shitty gameplay. Like, yeah, unlike, unlike Fail, though, I will complete this game, though. Yeah, facts. You don't have to, bro. You don't have to complete yeah. a game you don't like. <sighs> I do. I, well, you're a sicko, is. that's why. And I completed uh, Walking Dead Season 4. I, uh, oh, shit, oh my it. god. No, I, I think it's uh, as good as one. As season what one. the fuck? <laughs> Only Season uh, 3 sucks. Only season man. three sucks. No, season whatever, man. I don't season three that. sucks. And I've been playing uh, Judgment also. I started that too. Oh my oh. god! I've heard so judgment. many bad things about that game. Yeah. So Judgment's basically. Um, I mean, chapter three. I know chapter three. It's, it's chapter Yakuza, one was horrible. But not with Kiryu. Yeah, it's basically Yakuza but worse, uh, if you will. So. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they basically took the Yakuza game, uh, took out the fighting mostly. Like eighty percent of the missions, you, you stalk people, uh, you open doors, you search for like it's very basic like detective shit that anybody can okay. do. Okay, like yet. zoom into things. Yeah, if oh there's a clue. Oh, case solved. Like it's very boring to be honest. Um, there was a part at end of chapter two, like the, the last hour of chapter two, that was lit. Mm. If it's more of that, I would, I would say I would uh, like the game. But other than that, okay. uh, it's not been good. It's not been good at okay. all. Okay, okay, okay. I like where your head's at. All right, Jeff, what about you? What you been playing? Um, I've mostly been playing Smash this week, but most importantly, oh. I've been playing myself during the Game Awards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's... Yeah, 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 <laughs> I've mostly been playing Smash. N oh, yeah. I didn't stop that. Yeah, I guess I saw the Tales of Berseria. Interesting. And I'm going to play. Yeah, that's all. All right, shit. Well, we, yeah, we played Smash. That was fun. We we could have been excited for a new character, but we don't deserve happiness, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Noah, you on. go next. <laughs> Alter, right. what, what would you say? No, no, it's like we don't have new DLC, but like, like let's be honest, isn't, isn't Terry still hype? Yeah, he is. Yeah. Hey, hey, yeah, come, he's on, still come fun. on, Are you okay? okay? Hey, come on, come on. Are you okay? Are you okay? The wolf? <laughs> I like legitimately think Terry's my second favorite DLC character behind Joker. Like, dude, I, Terry is it, Terry it, it, so it, No, fun. it's just crazy to me because like I think I shared the story at least three times by now, but it's like my friend's most mm -hmm. wanted was Terry because he grew up in like you know I think he grew yeah, up in yeah. Brazil, like in an area where like SNK games were the thing, and like that was his most wanted. And my most wanted was Joker because you know Persona Five is my favorite game of all time. Bro. It's like we both got our most wanted characters. It's like can you insane. guys? Can you guys like fuse and uh, wish for Dante next? Please? Yeah, Dante, please. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I would need to buy physical copies of DMC so I can make like oh a God. summoning shrine. Yeah, then Jeff maybe did. Have, but yeah. Jeff forgot DMC4. Yeah, Bro, I have it fault. like digital. Well, then you Dude, I don't know. It was open on my Steam library, so it counts. I don't know what to do. Jeff asked uh, the Dragon Balls. I asked Santa Claus. Like, dude, I don't know what the fuck else to do, man. <laughs> Santa Claus <laughs> let you direct. down, dude. I'm actually so Bro, Santa mad at that guy. A bitch. 
He's an asshole. <laughs> well, well, to be, well, to be honest, guys, in terms of the fifth fighter, I already have like a plan uh, planned out. I'm not going to give the exact details, but I will give you a uh, last night I ordered uh, I, I paid twenty dollars and I ordered a seven inch uh, Wulu plush so uh Oh my yeah, take god that as well. <laughs> Wulu for hey, if you guys done Ultra has an addiction to Wulu, it's very unhealthy. Dude. He will he will literally randomly DM you a picture of Wulu what every the fuck? Oh, oh god. I, 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 I could give I could give like a thirty minute speech on why Wulu is like perfection. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I just remember opening up my DMs uh, one morning, and I just see Ba yeah. <laughs> of Wulu, and, and I, I, I went and scrolled through my camera roll, and luckily I had a picture of Wulu on hand. That was the case. Oh, man. Okay, so for what I've been playing, um, a little bit of Magic the Gathering. <laughs> of course, yeah, don't forget, we're sponsored by Magic the Gathering. Um, no, but I've been playing a little... I played some Smash this week. Um, I I didn't play any Cage 2 last week, so I... And to kind of explain why I keep saying I'm playing Cage 2, well, this week I logged in Fun. and lost 30 hours of save progress. So... Um, oh. <laughs> so I'm back at Bruh. the beginning. <laughs> but... Bruh. We are going to complete it by next week, alright? I... Good. That's fucked up, I'm, my I plan, got that. My plan for 2019 up. is to beat KH2, actually... move on to KH3, go to Resident Evil 2, and then go back to Nier. Cause this I wanna... thing actually happened to me with Persona 5. Like, um, I lost like 60 hours of gameplay. Dude, That's I was so worst, pissed. Though. I opened it up and I was like, wait, what? I've already been here. And I was, and I looked at my save hours and it was like 10 instead of 40. And I was so mad, dude. Dude, like, oh I can't, God. I could not. Like, last night I was playing Torna and I lost three hours. If I, I, I Well, that's a lot in that game because it's a 20 hour game. That's, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was just like, Because it wasn't even like story progress. It was all just grinding around in the desert. So just. just <laughs> to save and then like to no to go in the Dude, camp and sleep and like, if you play Xenoblade Two, you should uh -huh. know that you do it from the menu and not the camp. Yeah, I, it had been so long, so whatever. Well, um, I, I think that's a problem that you need to fix. Well, they could, anyways, whatever. So, anyways, <laughs> I, yeah, as I said, um, I was my TV was out of commission earlier this week, but I finally got my new. 55 inch TV, so that's been chill. Uh, I was, I just wanted to see what Devil May Cry looked like on it, so I played like two missions of Devil May Cry 5, so maybe I'll get to do that. Who knows? Um, what else? I was, like I said, I've been playing Torna. I'm about 12, uh, 12 and a half hours in, so again, nice. really loving my time with it. I really love the the characters. I love the gameplay, how much they refine the gameplay system. Well, of um, course, of course, you like the characters. Of course, I got I get to play as Myth. <laughs> yeah, <dude>. of course. <laughs> that's the half the point. So far, again, be, like I've been doing, like I only have five side quests in my uh, in my quest book that I just can't do yet. But so far, I've done every other one that I can because I know everyone says do them as you go, otherwise it's gonna be a bitch at the end. So I'm making sure to do them as I uh, progress. Uh, so that's been really fun. I played the new Tetris 99 update. It got the the basically the multiplayer update where you're in four squads of 25. And it's really fun. Again, it's so unique how they keep finding ways to update this game and add new cool shit. Because I'm like, even in Tetris 99, I have the elite mode unlocked, which is basically like a mode you only have access to if you've won a round of Tetris 99. And that's so fucking hard. Because again, one of the few, I'd say I'm, I'm, I'm really, really, really good at two games specific Smash and Tetris. How, Those are like the two How many games wins I'm do you really have in Tetris 99? At. Curious. Maybe eight or nine. So like okay. not that so many, not, but like like so I'm, you're, I'm, so you're you're pretty decent. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty, I was well, thinking like now. I was thinking you're gonna be like, no, no, oh, no. I have two wins, and I like, bro. Oh my god, no, no, no. <laughs> Uh, because like now whenever I play, I'm paired up with like, cause I'm like level 40 something in the fucking game. So I'm always paired up with Japanese players <clears throat> and Japanese right. playing Tetris. They're like a different beast. All they're doing is dropping blocks. They're not even like playing the game. Uh, so I don't know what the fuck is going on there. Uh, I, I played some Smash, obviously that's been fun. I played some more Mario Maker. The Zelda update's really fun. Again, people are starting to get really creative and weird with the levels they're making. Like, I'm seeing a lot of temple-like levels, and they're really cool. So, again, loving that continuously. 
Uh, Jeff, for you, last night yeah. I did finally buy Gravity Rush 2. Oh, oh shit, shoot. for you? So, I bought Gravity shit. Rush 2. I'm thinking about it. You played the first one? Uh, yes, I did play the first one. Okay. I, I liked the first one. I really liked it. First one, the first one on PS4 is like one of the best games on that system, honestly. Yeah. I really? I could bet. Yeah. God, dude. I'm make sure, make sure to play that with two beast costume because it's it's there for free. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah in the menu. <clears throat> that's that's all I want because yeah, it's like I I really like the first one. I actually don't. I think when I first played the first one, I thought it was fucking awesome. But over time, I kind of forgot about it. So I'm hoping. Actually, to I actually more. like like it better on the Vita because it feels so much more. Yeah. But on PS4, yeah, exactly. like, on PS4, I didn't think it was that fun. Like maybe yeah. it's my memory. I, I'm not sure. I so remember this I thing, way uh, more fun. Yeah. I mm. need to kind of figure out what, what game I'm going to get next because I mm. bought Metal Gear Solid Five Definitive because it was eight dollars. So Ooh. I'm got Maybe. that, uh, yeah. and then the I'm just gonna have to figure out how to play the other ones somehow. Right, right. I already have an idea, but we gotta figure that. MGS Five has what some of mm. the best gameplay ever, yeah. bro. Um, if you actually care about gameplay, then, like someone, yeah, there, yeah, you will like. Yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. If you care about story and progression, like don't play. Nobody cares, bro. Why, why do you care so much about story? Metal, metal you Gear and any story. Other <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna get Gravity Rush probably. Yeah, it was dumb cheap. Like it was like it's, for it's me, seven it was like fifteen bucks. It's seven forty nine and nine ninety nine on the US PSN store. Oh, lucky you, man! I had to pay fifteen dollars. <laughs> Canadian um, tax. Canadian tax, bro. But yeah, also like uh, what's it called? I um I don't I don't have a mo I don't have any motivation to play Jedi Fallen Order right now. So maybe <laughs> I'll you. get back to that. <laughs> yeah, you did. Maybe when they patch it a bit more, I'll get to it. But I'm not in the mood like, for it. Right I, I think I reached a point when I just watch gameplay for a game. I know I, I already Dude. know how to see. Okay, it. so something probably people don't know. Mm. Um, I like I've been a pretty big Star Wars fan. Um, uh -huh. You're pitching so, out. So for yeah, like a long like long time um, but yeah. I so I got into John uh, Jedi Fallen Order and I was really excited to play it because I thought it looked okay. pretty good but my PC was going crazy so luckily I'm building my new one currently okay. and getting my graphics card by the end of the month so yeah. maybe I'll be able to play it <laughs> yeah and then now uh, it's going Oh yeah! Oh the 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 new game that came out, uh, King of Cards. Show my King. Oh this yeah. This game, man, it's reminds great. you once again that Yacht Club Games they know how to make a polished platformer. Like you don't have to worry about like weird level design. You don't have to worry about like is it gonna not feel good? It's like it feels fucking good. And basically, King Knight has this unique gameplay mechanic. It's kind of like Wario where he uh, <clears throat> shoulder bashes into enemies. And when you get the shoulder bash, he jumps and does. And because of that mechanic, you get some really weird, unique platforming stuff where you do a dash onto an enemy. You spin, you spin jump on another enemy. And once you get a second spin jump, you can do a second dash in the air. So the way it combines that mechanic with obviously the dope music of Shovel Knight and the level design has been awesome so far. So really loving that. I really... I want to beat it because I feel like it could make it in my in my top of the year general discussion because I really fucking love it. Uh, so that's that. And the last thing I did was I played more fighters. I'm I love that. Like right now, being on break, it makes me like feel like I can play more fighters, and it's just fucking it's fantastic. So that is uh, my gaming time for the week. Uh, so moving on now, I think we should. I think we should. Before we get to stuff like state of play or indies or whatever the fuck extra stuff, let's do the big. Let's talk about the game award, which was sponsored by Magic the Gathering. Spon of course, <laughs> so you're sponsored by and Magic Stadia. the Gathering and Stadia console. Oh wait, I mean virtual console. Virtual console. Yeah. So, so oh, do we want to get the big one out of the way? The next generation I mean, Xbox. Well, let's I mean, let's wait, start. Wait, let's start wait, with wait, the goods. Wait, 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 let's let's no wait before we get it. Like, let's just all start right away. How did you feel about the game? I. I will start. Uh -huh. <laughs> I will start on this because I have this on my mind. I don't want to lose it. Um, yeah. It was so mid. I'm sorry. Listen, Nintendo doesn't have to be there to make it good. But here's the thing: mm. people on Twitter going crazy about Nintendo not being there, and you had a bunch mm. of communities like 
telling those people to shut up, you're crazy, you overhyped. I disagree. Nintendo has been there four out yeah. of the five years. The only year they weren't there was Sutora Iwata's passing. That's it. They've yeah. been there every other year besides this year. Yeah. And they didn't have anything to show. That's fine, but I'm just saying for that. Um, yeah. But he, and here's the thing. Uh, reading... Uh, Jeff Keighley's been very transparent um, mm. about the whole show on his Twitter. And he said, like, someone said, why was an Xbox at the end of the show? Which, you know, to me, that makes the most sense. It's the biggest reveal yeah. you have. That's a huge reveal. Um, yeah. And he said they wanted to be in the, uh, they wanted to be at the very front, which that's fine. But you don't end with Fast mm. and Furious. I'm sorry. Exactly. Like, I'm sorry. Like, that's like, like, you I have, have, you had No More Heroes 3. You sucked that in the freaking pre-show. Here's what I hope mm-hmm. they do next year. Abolish the pre-show. No one in also. I'm gonna give a, a list of five things. Abolish the pre-show because the pre-show you basically set it up to be like, oh well, we don't really care about these games, but oh here they are. That's basically what it's pushed on as. Well, the, uh, the pre-show is, is like that's every award show is gonna have that. It's basically well, yes, the, but you don't have let's to reveal start something live while people are sitting down and 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 giving out awards that aren't gonna go on the stage. Yeah, but and then it, whenever he did like. The uh, another thing, mm. best score in music in pre-show. Like, yeah, that that's no. I agree. That's, that's that is a huge part of every game. There is no reason yeah. why you need to throw that in the pre-show. And then, um, all the awards. Okay, some of them like the esports stuff that doesn't need to be like dragged on. Yeah, but like there's a lot of them where he's just standing there and he's like, "Oh, best performance, Mads Mikkelsen." Like, are we in? Right. And then the, it's just it feels rushed. You're rushing the devs or whoever's speaking off the stage to go, oh, blah, 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 here you go, blah, 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 here you go. Like, you, either you need to cut the amount of game awards yeah. there are, or you need to give people more time and lengthen the show. Because yeah. it just, I, I don't know. And then, of course, the pacing of the announcements was not great. Garbage. Yeah. Mm. Like, um. Personally, yeah, personally, I thought that, it was Those are my thoughts. I thought it was a shit show. I thought it was a shitty <laughs> show. It was. It was. Like, it was all over the place. It. I. It felt. Okay. It felt I, like they rehearsed yeah, it. Yeah. It felt like they rehearsed it, and it, they were like, dude, dude, they were good on just, the show, but the content was not there. Content was horrible. Look, here's my thing. Again, like, no matter what, it's what I. I said this. Whatever. Like, you can't blame. Like, I cannot blame Nintendo or Sony or whoever for not bringing a big. Like, I can't blame them. I can't be like, yeah, exactly. oh my god, they didn't bring. But, but it's like they're what not I can blame, They're not obliged to bring one. That's yeah. th- we but, we're. But what I will say is, this show started off really strong. Again, we started this show. We were excited because we had no more heroes. We had uh, what's it called? We had the uh, the new Xbox show. We had like our expectations risen. We we're like, holy shit! Like. We're getting a new Xbox in the first 10 minutes of the show. Imagine what's coming next. After that Xbox thing, everything just went fucking downhill. These performances yeah. were boring. Uh, Cyberpunk's appearance was basically, hey, look at all the artists we're going to have. Um, we got, what the fuck did we get? We got like some, the we got the most boring game reveals ever, dude. Like we got shit like, here's a random multiplayer okay. game. Yeah, but here's, here's, a, here's yeah. the thing. I, I'm not saying... Yes, the content this year was subpar, but the yeah. where Jeff Kiley is at fault is for the placing yeah. of the announcements. I because agree. I agree here's with, the thing: yeah. if yeah. those were the announcements and they were placed right, okay, it was an yeah. average show. It wasn't bad. It wasn't great. But no, I, I, the yeah. bad pacing made it a bad show. That's the truth. We cannot rely on announcements. And it's like, that that's the truth. And it's like the the, the thing where like the Apex Legends guy. I was uh, that was so for stupid. Like fucking thirty-seven minutes. Yo, yeah, like okay, that's so cool. Ever. That is yeah. so cool that he was doing that in real time. But I don't care. Like we, uh, yeah, no one, yeah. it's just literally, like, no one cares. That stuff sucks. I hate like celebrities coming on stage, like the fucking basketball guy. Yeah, or that's fast and, like <laughs> the the whole the whole in no Green Day. Green Day did not belong there. I'm sorry. Why Look, did Green like? I am because, here because Beat I, I, I Saber. I thought they were retired, though. I thought they were retired. Okay. No, he, they're, prom- they're literally promoting their new tour. That's the only no, they're, they were No, they're not. They, they had a Beat Saber X Green Bay thing reveal that they were doing. Bro, it, but that's not that doesn't like, deserve them to... Okay, and here's the thing. This is supposed to be a, a, 
award show about mm-hmm. celebrating the gaming industry and yes. i felt like last year he did a good job at that and the year, yes, b- year before agree. like the f- this year though it felt like he was trying to bring in all these famous people from other in- industries to get more viewership is what it felt and like man, to me like and it sucked the, it ruined the, the idea ad, of the show the ads were so yeah, egregious that, it's, like, it's ridiculous so the so jokes nintendo is, switch has games yeah, yeah. 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 nintendo uh, switch like, has games <laughs> Like, I don't... It's just stuff like 10 Gathering Magic Listen, we understand that he has to have ads, but get a variety, dude. Like, okay. Exactly. Exactly. The Game Awards were watched by over at least 5 million people. Like, I think... Oh, over 25. Bro, last year was 25 million people. Yeah, well, I'm I'm just going off of Twitch numbers. Um, Yeah. But... You know what I mean? It's like, you can get advertisers. You don't need to play the same freaking ads ten times. Exactly. It's like the Super Bowl. It's horrible. Like like I said, my biggest example is like last year. Last year, the big ad was Smash Bros. Where between breaks, it would be like, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is launching tonight. But like, it would be this cool thing where they'd be showing different characters every time they showed it. And you could tell this exciting because it was a game coming out in like fucking one hour after the show is over right Um, and i think i think people are gonna go into the game awards next uh they're gonna mm -hmm. go wait they're gonna go into the game awards next year and they're gonna be like oh these are gonna suck but honestly i think they're lined up for one of the next they're gonna be great because next gen yeah that's there's gonna be a bunch of reveals yeah yeah we'll have next year but it's like like i said uh, he's already hurt the viewership with this year and it just to me like the pacing was like we were on a we were like ten people in a Discord call and we were all oh bored God, like we were all game. just we were like so bored out of our mind there was nothing exciting like after that intro with Xbox there was nothing that made us jump out of how do you end the show like well, dude guys remember we were literally like and one more th-, like we thought he was yeah. gonna say and one more thing after game of the year we're like no and, way yeah you're not just gonna walk off the stage yeah. <laughs> and it and, did and he yeah. did. Well, how did you get Vin- how did you get Fast and Furious the shitty well, ass no. license? And then Vin Diesel's like, oh, I think I've seen the Fast Nine trailer, dude. You're in yeah, the freaking movie, of course you have. Fucking- <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck, dude? No one cares. Uh, so, yeah. This is not a. Vi- and thanks for publishing a PS2 game on the PS4. Yeah, like, thanks, buddy. Dude, oh, man, I'll show it about you. What do you we- think? <sighs> you were with yeah, us. Yeah, so America. it's like, yeah, like like you said, we go we go from Joker. And, you, yeah. you know, Joker and Persona 5 and Smash to fucking Vin Diesel. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That that said... And, yeah. and we got a... Sh- we, I mean, we did get another Joker reveal, but it was shitty. <laughs> and, yeah, like... The, going to the end, it's like, is it just me or, like... Maybe it's just me because of, like, how mid the show was, but I feel, I feel like, like, the reveal for, like, you know, Game of the Year, it felt very, like, nothing. Dude! Like, the winner is Synchron. I, I was... Like, I was genuinely kind of pissed, not gonna Dude, lie, because here's the thing. We literally all went what? Yeah, because yeah, it, honestly, from what it seems like, I definitely think that they gave it, it to Sekiro votes. because yeah. they didn't they didn't want to have any controversy because yeah, RE2 is a remake. Death Stranding, Kojima, and Kylie are friends. Like, yeah, and yeah, it's not, it's not like it's, it's not like Sekiro doesn't like deserve the reward because like I didn't play it, yeah, but like knowing from software games, I'm sure Sekiro was like an amazing. Yeah, game, but it's a great game. Like, one of those things that's like, it's like yeah, me, I don't know. Right. To me, like to me, what's it called? Sekiro is a game that's like, oh, that's a great game, not game of the year. Great exactly. Game. It's like yeah. that's kind of how I would describe it. It's like, do I? That game to me, I'm not like I'm not trying to be a dick. I played Sekiro. I had a great time with it. I know it's polished. I know it's fun. But like, I it, think that, that's for I didn't beat it. it. That yeah, game purely, <laughs> that game purely won by split votes. Like it literally won because some voters Death did Stranding, like. I guess, I some guess some voted like Death Stranding. Nah, and then Re2. Cool. Some voted. Some voted DS. Yeah. Some voted Re2. I agree. Yeah. Then, it, it was yeah. a split. Jeff, what about you? How? <laughs> Okay, so you guys pretty much said everything. So what I'm going yeah. to add that mm. you can't blame people for being excited when Jeff Kelly, Jeff Kelly has been Agreed. fucking hyping up this show. Yeah, like he, agreed. he hyped it up so much. Crazy shit ever. Of course, he's not going to say it's just suck. But when you hype up that thing so much, just don't be surprised when you have repercussions, though. Like, yep. Yeah, you only have yourself to fucking yep. blame. Like, when the biggest announcements mm. of your show are like uh, a fucking... 
20 seconds trailer of the next Xbox and look at the fucking tissue box, bro. <laughs> the, the fact that Even, just, yeah. the fact that yeah. the night before Jeff was like, uh, we have things that like our fans like are expecting things we don't have. That felt like kind of like a last minute band aid to try and be yeah, like, uh, oh yeah, you can oh, be yeah, high, yeah, yeah. but don't be too high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, 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 that's, that's his, that's his, that's his sobby back some things, something tells me. Mm. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. No, it's like you could tell that last 24 hours he started backtracking. Like when he started saying things yeah. like, uh, people have expectations that we don't know. And then, and then oh, there was it could a be viewer. something else. It could be something yeah, else. or like he had a viewer because, question that was like, yeah. uh, one of the viewer questions he got was, uh, how big would you say the announcements are this year? Then he answered like, well, uh, it it's really hard to compare. Ask. It's hard. Yeah, it's like, oh, you could tell there he was like, he could tell, he could tell. Yeah. That, what I'm saying is that it might be something else because like if Nintendo if Steam, Nintendo had yeah. showed something and like I said we're no, not relying we are not relying on that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So someone asked him on Twitter why did you leave like with a bad attitude quote unquote after the Fast and Furious trailer? He said right. something. Uh, there, there's more to it behind the scene and he didn't say anything else. So same to, right. something tells me that he's not happy with the show himself. Like something happened. Yeah, yeah. Well, because he said he lost the Sonic trailer and a couple other things. Um, how the fuck do you lose a? How do you lose? Like, what could go because so things, horribly wrong? Because things things changed last that, minute. That's com- that dude. Sonic, that Sonic was like. Nah, you man, do realize that out. Joker was thrown into the Game Awards one week before the show. Well, last yeah, year, but, yeah, but, uh, they lost a lot of announcements though. Like, I think Batman was supposed to be here too. Yeah, it, I really think Batman was supposed to be here. Yeah, I don't know what I like. I really, I think something happened. To me, it to me, it's really weird it that is. like Nintendo didn't have a big thing. Okay, uh, the, like like we said like, though, we're not rel- we don't have to. Rel- I I get it, yeah, and yeah. I wondered, but we don't. We're not relying on Nintendo for announcements. And if they didn't have yeah, some, yeah. here's the thing: with this year, and if they didn't Half-Life, announce, right? if they did not announce something, well, yeah, Half Life's just randomly said but i think yeah, apparently dude, dude, dude. apparently it was going to be a one hour vr tech demo the fuck yeah the that's fuck? that's that's what i heard so or really? saw online um but nintendo not showing something obviously shows that they're planning a direct um yeah and it's definitely gonna be pretty big and i understand not showing a smash character because if you want to have the sakurai presentation right after the direct it makes more sense that way yeah. um but I, I mean, Pi, Pi yeah. what did you think? Well, uh, me and Jeff. Your thoughts. Yeah, me and Jeff obviously stay up. Um, I w- yeah, yeah, yeah. I would never do that again in my life. Like there was nothing. Like <laughs> the best thing was was goes for me go to Shima. I thought that should have been on sale play yeah. anyway. So there was nothing. I honestly outside think of, so outside, too. Uh, outside of Headblade Blade Two was got me excited. Outside of that, like nothing got me. Like I forgot. I forgot all the all the like. I didn't pay attention yeah. to be honest. Like I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I was so tired. It was like it was so boring. It was so bad. And like the pacing. Yeah. And like they're like you got Green Day sitting. Like where where are they? Like so random. Like, to me. Yeah, I bro, like why? Like, it's like it's like are you sh- like it's like come on man. Get video game. Per- that's all like, you want. Like I, I like the uh, orchestra of the uh, game of the years. Uh, yeah, I love that. I, I was like, last, last honestly. Year, really, I was kind of mad that they didn't use the orchestra more. They didn't use what? The orchestra more. Yeah, they should have. Again, they. I mean, they did the first one, which was the 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 Death Stranding song, which is good. They yeah. did the Cyberpunk one, but then Green Day. It's just like, what the fuck are you doing here, bro? Yeah, and and it should um, be shorter. It should be way shorter, like two hours. Yeah, like everything, everything should be two hours. That is so, too long. The game I wanted to awards, say, the musical. The game, the music. Yeah. <laughs> so let me show, let me for for perspective. So uh, last, two weeks ago, no, last week. We did the official game stage predictions of what would be announced here. So let me go through this disappointment. So we oh, said, Jesus Christ, yeah. We said Fighter Pass Five. Oh, I know mine's nope. so wrong. <laughs> we said we said Bayonetta Three. Nope. <laughs> Although Camille uh, Cam- 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 was there. Camille Cam- was there. We yeah. We said a uh, near Automata sequel. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> we said we said Bayonetta Two. I'm uh, sorry. We said Breath of the Wild Two. We said Batman. <laughs> we said uh-huh. Batman game tease. We said Tony Hawk remakes. Someone said Horizon Zero Dawn two. We said a brand new Crash game. <laughs> we said Ubisoft game. We said a new Avengers trailer. 
Uh, we so did get no dumb DLC. What the fuck? We 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 got dumb DLC, so I got that. Uh, and we said Epic Mickey would be the Disney remake that's being made, and uh, yeah, so literally Wait. nothing we said happened. Yeah, and I know I also Bro. said Elden. I said Elden Ring. Wait, what? No, you're cutting out. I know no, I said no, Elden Ring gameplay, dude. It's Discord. It's not. Dude, we got jack shit. Bro, the fact nothing. that Ubisoft wasn't even there, like it, that speaks a lot, bro. If yeah, Ubisoft exactly. is not on your fucking show, exactly. There's something. I don't wrong. know what the fuck you, went you, wrong. You guys bro. didn't even predict Tony Hawk correctly. Oh no, I know we wrote it. We wrote it. We wrote. We have Tony Hawk remakes. Yeah, I just didn't read it. I know. Like, I know. I'm just saying, even like, Mystic, the fact that it didn't happen is yeah. kind of funny to me. Because <laughs> even Mystic, he was like, uh, oh yeah, Green Day is here because it, it'll tie into the remake of Tony Hawk uh, Pro Skater remakes. I was like, okay, that, that, then, then I'm okay with this. And then they just left the stage and, and Jeff was like, Beat Saber, six songs. I'm like, oh, fuck me. Great. <laughs> I'm fucking happy. So that's how he felt about it. Now let's kind of quickly go through uh, the winners. Just like, just like really quickly we'll go through the winners. Uh, and then we can go through whatever announcements were made there, whatever shitty announcements were made there. Uh, so first of all, we talked about this kind of Sekiro one game of the year. So pretty wild. Um, I actually think most of the awards were fair. So Devil May Cry won best action game. Um, Sekiro won uh, best action adventure. Control won best art direction. Uh, Modern Warfare won best audio design. Destiny yeah. 2 won community support. Uh, esports, yeah. esports, 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 <laughs> esports, esports, esports. Uh, best Nintendo game I actually went to Luigi Mansion 3, which is very surprising. Um, Smash obviously won best fighting game. Disco Elysium won debut indie game. Game Direction, Death Stranding, obviously. Games yep. for Impact was Grease. Best indie game was Disco Elysium. Best multiplayer game was Apex Legends. Best narrative was Disco Elysium. Best ongoing game is Fortnite. Best performance is Mads Mikkelsen. Best RPG, Disco Elysium. Best score in music, Death Stranding. Best racing games, Crash Team Racing. Let's go. Uh, best strategy game, Fire Emblem Three Houses. And important and to note that Fire Emblem won the fan game of the year. Thank you. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Uh, and then what's up? And that's it. VR won uh, beat. So I think overall the awards were actually fair. Like none of these that's make rough. me go like, are you fucking kidding me? Only yeah, one true. I was cool. Except for your game of the year. Um, Only one besides game of the year that I was kind of, I was kind of like, Hmm, like questioning it a little bit. Um, I didn't play Disco Elysium, but I thought narrative was gonna go to DS. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. that's the only, and I, that's not like a big like, whoa, what? I was just kind of like, okay, <laughs> but I felt like yeah. they played it safe with the awards this year. I know what you mean. So let's now go through the announcements of tonight because some of them were. So first of all, Xbox, they officially unveiled the design of the new Xbox and the name. So it is called the Xbox Series X. So how did you feel? Guys? Let's go PO first. How did you feel about the reveal? <laughs> and it looks like and everything, Mr. Uh, PlayStation. The, 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 reveal, the uh, reveal was actually shocking that they show it because uh, yeah. we, were in, we were in the call and uh, it was like, like, what is this? Like a uh, new game yeah. or something? And they like to show the box. I, I actually... Like, oh, uh, I think the box is, you know, it looks like a mini PC for a reason, but... I Yeah, exactly. I actually uh, don't mind the look of it. Yeah, yeah I don't mind. Yeah, I'm okay with it. I'm I'm okay okay. I think it's yeah. sleek. Um, so far, we know Hellblade 2 and Halo are the I Uh So that's good. Uh, they're they're better, already better than Xbox One for real, so... Do you think good. the name is good series? Yeah, because they're going to have a series, the Series X. They're going to have free copies, yeah. probably. This is probably strong. Okay. Yeah, I that's guess, that's yeah, what no, I was that's thinking. That's there, that's it's gonna be like had. the Xbox X One, Xbox yeah. X Two. Yeah, that's like that's like a fucking brand reboot. Yeah, that's yeah. To that's me, why. this screamed uh, this screamed like mobile, like like phones and all this stuff, like the modern era win of like maybe the there's Xbox gonna be a Series S. Yeah, or like maybe there's gonna be Xbox Series S for like the slim version or Series mm -hmm. like discless or whatever. So, what about you, Ultra? How do you feel about the reveal? Um, 
Yeah, so it's like I just love how like after they revealed that console, like everyone was like posting memes of like refrigerator, yeah, and, like that, that one scene, that one scene of SpongeBob where SpongeBob is like, I gotta be the oh, marble. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, love that. It's great. It's literally just one big rectangle, but like, I mean, my first impression is like it's just a PC, mm-hmm. but it's like, but yeah, the, yeah. I mean, it, it looks. I mean, I'm not. Personally, it's like Xbox is the yeah, one console I don't, I don't really like buy, but like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I still think the console looks pretty good. Like, you know, like, you know, Hellblade yeah. 2 looks like... I mean, Hellblade so. in-engine looks fun. If, like, to me, that, like, we've all, we've been talking this gen about how games, it's going to be hard to make a big graphical jump because everything looks beautiful. But seeing the Hellblade in-engine yeah. gameplay, we're like, oh, like, now I thought, we're just CG I thought, trailers. I thought Death Stranding looked amazing. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> like, whoa, okay. Now we're just CG trailers, so that's fucking weird. Uh so we got the new Xbox. Uh Jeff, what did you think about it? Do you like it? Because I know yeah, you were Xbox, kind of excited. Yeah, the not you, you know, uh, I'm mainly a PC gamer, but the, mm-hmm. the same guy you actually give me a reason to play many on console, I will fucking seize that fucking uh-huh. reason because sometimes I can't fucking same PC man. Yes, so yeah, much yeah. Fucking, it's, it's such a fucking hassle. So like, yeah. knowing that no, like, 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 Bravely Default 2. Yeah. So uh, that was actually really cool. Again, I so d- I hate that they called it. I, everyone was like, they're going to announce Bravely 3rd at some point and just Bravely Default 2. Um, but I'm really excited, man, because I like that's, the that games. That is on- a big announcement. Hey, like, yeah, okay, yeah, it's, yeah. it's a somewhat niche series, but that's a huge announcement. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. It's, it's, a, it's a niche thing, but it is like a really cool... Uh, like it is, a, it's it's a cool thing, and I think next year it's gonna be really fun. Like I think with games like this and Octopath and stuff, the team who makes this stuff just like they know what they're doing, and it's cool. It's cool shit. Uh, we had that. Then we had another. So then we had our first game that is branded as a PlayStation Five game, which is Godfall, which is a Gearbox uh, made uh, game. Uh, How do you guys feel about that? I think. The CG trailer didn't do much for me, but then yeah. we saw some clips on Twitter of it how. Looks yeah. Oh the, fuck! Yeah, the, the Twitter looks. The Twitter clip. I think Twitter uh, clips uh, made it, it. It was running on the uh, PS5. Uh, yeah. Let's say, and but the, the, the thing about the clip though, it is running 60 frames. That is, uh, is it again? Yeah, okay. it was 60 frames. So that's good. Hopefully, next gen focuses on the frames more than the graphics. That's all I want, man. I want next yeah. gen to be uh, all games 60 yes. frames. Yeah, that, that would be perfect. Make, I would love if it's like a requirement of like your game has to yeah. hit 60. Yeah, because I'm waiting that like would... uh, for me personally, I'm waiting if I'm going to upgrade to a PC or not. Uh, because if all right. games play 60, then there's no reason to own PC or upgrade to my PC, basically. Yeah, I get it. I yeah. get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My God. Um, so we had that. And then we had, yeah, No More 3 trailer, which was fucking cool because we everyone all we all sat crying. there. Yeah, we were all like, what is this? This is fucking We all, we all thought it was some like... I'm a goddamn game. superhero. Yeah. And it was just fucking weird as shit, <laughs> as always. So good job on... What's, on um, the... What's his name? What's the guy? What's his name? The creator? Suda51. So Suda51. Suda51. Yeah, my friends uh, were like, so that trailer was so Suda51. Like, you could cut it was, from the style, so... <laughs> it was so stylized. Um, we had a new FF7 remake trailer. Yes. Yes. And then again, we got some more Tifa. It was a trailer that was mostly footage we've seen before, uh, but it was still—it's yeah. just still hype, man. Because I like—I just want to see this. I just want. I, it's it, literally that like, game looks genu- so good. It looks so. It genuinely looks fucking phenomenal. It, yeah, it's uh. As someone, the character who, designs are some of the best like, I've seen like yeah. ever. Like as someone who's never played seven. Ever seven. Yeah, I'm right. super excited. It's uh wild. So that's that was another cool one. What else did we get here? We got Joker coming to fucking combat. Who fucking cares? I don't care. Um, what, what else we got? That's not my Joker. That's not my Joker. <laughs> we got uh, a new Magic the Gathering game review. By the way, we're sponsored by Magic the Gathering. Um, the weirdest and shittiest reveal was the the Player Unknown Battlegrounds game. They revealed the game, but all they did was show a picture of a forest. 
they moved the camera and then it oh, ended. Oh yeah, so no, like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, this isn't the demons game. <laughs> no, yeah, this is That's dumb as weird. shit. Uh, then we go. Oh, oh, by the way, we got Ik- and bless Ikumi's soul. She's just the best. I think she should date Jeff. Like I really think she should. What? <laughs> I think she should date you, bro. Yeah. Why? You, she looks like someone that would date you. Hello, Jeff. Hello, Jeff. The fuck. U.S. U.S. Ohio. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> 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 oh god. Fucking now I'm remembering what I said last time. Hopefully, she, hopefully, hopefully <laughs> like, uh, she should be uh, the shooter of Jeff. Ohio what? Jeff son. Oh. Hello Jeff son. Your dick is spooky. Your tattoo. What what is wrong with all of you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is our regular podcast. <laughs> No, fuck Jeff, man. Fuck you, Jeff. What the fuck? Holy shit. How do you feel? How do you feel about that something winning nothing? That's something. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter. It has more more awards. It doesn't matter, but you got fucked, dude. Admit it. Yeah. (laughs) No, it doesn't. Admit you're a bitch right now. Death (laughs) Death Stranding tied for the most awards won in the show. Yeah, man. Not a single award is tied to the actual game. How do you exactly yeah. worldwide though <laughs> worldwide he has the most awards so far. I don't so. care anymore. Yeah. So nope. then we got um we got one. let's see we got Sons of the Forest, which is weird as shit, where a girl had many arms, and that happened. Uh, then we got <laughs> a a new game for the fucking League of Legends characters. Who cares? Cyberpunk showed up and was like, look, we got music, dude, and then that was cool. Um. We got Dungeons and Dragons. Remember that game with the weird ass camera angle? It was really horrifying. Uh, so that sucks ass. We got the Apex Legends stuff announced, which was another boring and shitty thing. The Ori trailer was basically the delay trailer. But that's actually, I actually think that's a bad idea. I think putting Ori yep. and the Will of the Wisps in March is bad. In Put between it final, Put it's in between any fa- game in March is Dude, a bad idea. At this literally, point. Yeah, in between yeah, yeah. Final Fantasy. And, and Animal Crossing exactly. and Doom. I, like, unless you are idea. Doom, Animal Crossing, Final Fantasy Persona. VII, per, I even think Persona. Persona's an, I kind of think Persona's, Persona's a bad spot. Yeah. yeah. It's like, and Neo get, 2. And Neo 2. Get the fuck away from March. But yeah. Ori, I can't believe how fucking insane how it looks. It's crazy. It like Which literally movie? looks better than CG, like CG animated like car- movies. It's fucking it's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, um, but yeah. So it got that one month delay. It was going to be February 11th. Now it's March 11th. Together. Um, what else? We had uh, the Muppets on stage, and they annoyed Jeff. Um, and Norman Reedus. <laughs> yeah, Norman Reedus. Get. We had Weird West, which is a new game by Wash. But we got a Magic Legends announced. I, I just want to break my. Uh, so then Ghost of Tsushima. So we got the official full trailer for it. And we now know it's launching summer 2020. I'm assuming that means probably August. Because you want to give like room for Last of Us. Yeah, I think end of August, maybe even beginning of September. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and, and, to, and to remind everyone, we are sponsored by Magic the Gathering. We are it's sponsored by Magic. Yeah. Uh, but I, dude, I actually think, I thought looked really cool. I think, it first of all, it looks beautiful graphically like it looks really pretty um and the gameplay kind of looks samurai assassin's creed uh, jeff i know you weren't that big of a fan of it wait what wait what the ghost of tsushima trailer uh it wasn't that i wasn't a fucking fan is that it just looked like shadow of model 3 i guess so i wasn't like I'm not blown away. That's what I'm trying to say. How do you compare this to Shadow of Mordor? It's, it's look bro, bro, this looks like an awesome game. Shut up! Nobody's impressed. Nobody's fucking impressed. Here we go. Like, fire, fire Emblem. Every like, time like, I see someone impressed, yeah, yeah, there's, there's 10,000 leaves on the screen. That's the only thing. Nobody's impressed. 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 Nobody's impressed.
No, it's no, okay. I, I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna attack in Jeff. Jeff is still an asshole here. So. <laughs> what? Uh, then pretty we sure got I was you, half awake yeah. at that point. Oh, you were half asleep it. there? Yeah, like... Oh, my God. That's I, a new I, blanket. I don't know. Like, su- 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 sushi... I can't even talk right now. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> just say sushi. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sushi. also sushi. Morgana's favorite game because it has sushi. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. Uh, but, yeah, yeah it, was just, it was just a thing. That's all I can say. I'm sorry. God damn. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Oh, my God. Then we got Gears Tactics coming April 28th. No one cares. Um, we got... The, what the fuck? No, why did I lose it? Oh, no. Okay, then we got uh, more fucking Fortnite, as someone said. What else do we get? We got Reggie came on stage to talk about indie games because that category was sponsored by Subway, and they were like, let's make it not as what a shitty as... So. Goat speech. <laughs> yeah, what a waste. Good speech, good speech. Um, then we got the Wolf Among Us 2 revealed, and like, who fucking cares, bro? Telltale died for a reason, bro. No I care. one. Wow. No, you don't. You're lying, Ultra. No, you don't I, I do. I, I, I no, like you first, don't. I, I, that, that was before Telltale started going like really to shit, you know? Man, because, I like, just... I think, because I think Wolf Among Us was like their first game right after like Walking Dead, which was Walking like their Dead, big yeah. success. And then after, yeah. shortly after Wolf Among Us, that's when you start to realize why are they just copy pasting their, their same like game? Just right. Yeah, yeah. Idea. It's, uh, yeah, I don't fucking personally care, but hey, it is. Then, our final announcement, guys. Are you fucking ready? Yeah, let's fucking go. Diesel. Oh my god, I'm, so, I'm Diesel, so hyped. Bro. Vin Diesel comes on stage. Like, hey guys, I don't got friends, I got family. Uh, I saw the Fast uh, 9 trailer. Yeah, and he reveals and, Smash DLC 5, right? And, yeah, <laughs> dude. And then he's like, uh, yeah, I played, I love, uh, but you know what the girl said next to him? She's like, I love playing Tekken uh, with him uh, in the basement. And he's like, yeah, I love okay. fucking video games are cool, dude. I lo- Don't you love when celebrities say games are fucking cool? Uh, so then they announced the shitty PS2, a licensed game of Fast and Furious. So those were literally our announcements. So, I mean, the fact that we glossed over half of these and just what a shitty just what a bad show. Never again, Jeff Keighley. Never again. Don't dick me like that. I, th- I like I said on Twitter, I think that was the worst night of my life. <laughs> I think now like, that- the fact <laughs> the, but the 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 stream turned out the way it turned out, like it, it made things worse. Dude, it was like I I really do I really like again I actually spent time thinking what could have been a worse night in like I really I really I, I thought about it a lot. Probably if you were like in our time zone, you had to stay up all night and get two hours of sleep next day. Yeah, probably. Yeah. That, that yeah, probably, probably that, yeah. That, that probably made it 10 times worse. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, so that I do, happened, whatever. Hey, I do want to mention yeah. something. Yes, what's up? What's up, Noah? Best Buy on their, webs- on their website. <laughs> Best Buy what? On their website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, uh, for yeah. Best Games of the Year... They have Jump Force on it. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Bro, Best Buy is dumb, bro. They just see a maybe cup it's over maybe it's not Best Buy. It maybe it's a PSN amazing. store. I mean, One to of be them. fair, Jump Force should have won Best Fighting Game. Just saying. That's yeah. facts, bro. Yeah, That's yeah. Facts. yeah. Smash, Smash That's robbed facts, it, dude. It's unfortunate. Exactly. So the the Smash have Goku, the Smash have Luffy, the Smash have Naruto, the Smash have Seto Kaiba. I don't think it's true. you're right. Seto Kaiba, man, that wins it all, bro. I think Ka- Jeff. Do you like uh, Do you like Yu Gi Oh? I feel like you like Yu Gi Oh. No, I don't. I Jeff's don't like a big fan of Naruto because he's a yeah. Don't, don't you like, like Naruto? I don't like Naruto. I don't like Naruto. Oh. Dude, you're lying oh, because oh, you don't want you don't. Bro, just say it. Uh, so. What? Then we got a, a actually a, a better announcement thing with State of Play, where um, we got a few things. So first of all, we got the finally after seventeen thousand years, we got the release date for Dreams. Yeah. Uh, so that's going to be February fourteenth again, and it's in a good. Thank God it's not going to be full price. Like they know they can't do that with this game. It's forty uh, in the US. Yeah, it's forty. It's forty US. Yeah. And I think it's going to be cool. I think it's going to be like I think it's going to be a game that's going to help. So help yeah, that they're gonna finally like add all the all the things. So I'm, I, yeah. I haven't played for the access. So I'm just waiting for a normal release. Date. Yeah, exactly. So even in me, I'm I'm down to play. It comes out the same day as the Sonic movie, so maybe I won't play it that day. Oh shit. Um, 
Then what else? We got a shitty uh, Battle Royale game announced that was magic-based and the whatever. Uh, then we got something that kind of leaked already, which is the Kingdom Hearts 3 DLC. We talked about it last week, so we don't want to harp on it too much. Uh, Jan- oh, Johnny, do you, do you, you like Kingdom Hearts? I think. Oh, no, not Johnny. Ultra, Ultra. Oh, my God. I'm confusing you. Wow. What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ultra? I think they, they don't deserve your... Uh, 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 no, I'm sorry. What were you asking? Do you like uh, Kingdom Hearts? Because we got the trailer. Are you excited? Uh, no, I'm sorry. No. Oh. oh, shit. Oh, it's okay. Fine. It's okay. No one likes Kingdom Hearts, really, when you it's really sit down and think about it. No, it's not, it's not that I don't like I get it. it. I just haven't gotten into it. I get it. I get it. I'm going I'm I'm gonna, gonna, gonna to take I'm, this I'm, out of context I'm, and put it on Twitter, and then it'll goes for not like Kingdom Hearts. Yes, yes. Okay. I, I'm the guy that hates Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> there, there we go. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, oh, shit. shit. And I just recorded I just recorded this 30 second clip. I have Wow, I have recorded this 30 second clip clip and will upload it from a burner account on Twitter. Calling out no, I want you to upload it on contact. Calling out Twitter user twitter.com user Ultra Shrooms for his crimes. For his crimes against Kingdom I, can, I, can, so, I, can, I can come in much worse. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> then uh, Predator Hunting Grounds got its April twenty fourth. So cool for that game. They've shown it seventy eight thousand times. Don't uh, even understand that a, game. <laughs> it's just it's a Predator game. Well, yeah, but it, they say it's game. like. Is it just you can? Do you it's only? It's four v one. It's it's the typical. Oh, uh, okay. So well, yeah. from what I saw, I thought you could only play as the Predator. No, no, it's four okay. of you. So like one guy is yeah. predator, four guys are random characters. Exactly. Uh, next is a Jeff kind of reveal. Jeff, uh, they gave us Babylon's uh-huh. gameplay officially. Uh, yeah. Then they said we're going to get info next summer. So how did you feel about the gameplay reveal for Babylon's fall? I mean, I'm glad like Platinum Game is taking that more strategic approach. Like now you can actually tell like every it counts. Like when you play right. Bayonetta, I'm sure Bayonetta is fun as hell, right? But it's, yeah. it feels yeah. like you can give like 10,000 fucking hits in like one well, second. Yeah. And not a single one. It's like, it's like you're punching. Not, yeah. 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 It's more mindless, I would say. Yeah, Even exactly. though you can pull up some crazy, crazy combo in Bionetta. It's, yeah, yeah. it's still like you don't actually feel your hit somewhere. It's no, like exactly, a yeah. fucking machine gun of hits. Yes. But yes, this yes, time yes. it's like it's a... every fucking hits, you can you can tell like mm. it has a fucking purpose. Like everything can yeah. like add to a combo and like it's I like it way better this way. Like you can tell yeah. they are taking the disappoint because Assassin was way more like this already. Yeah, it was strategic as hell. Yeah, the how you had to now with this, they moves. took like they took it to the no- another level, and I'm so fucking mm. glad that, that they resolved the Bayonetta tree like development, saying they wanted yeah. to take it to the next step. So now yeah. I'm, I'm I'm so fucking ready for Bayonetta tree. I think uh, what's cool is like the the swords hovering around him remind me of Sword Legion from uh, from Ast- Chain? No, so, you don't actually you don't actually do that in association. It's just just religion that drags you in. You don't actually like. It's not a grab grabbing hood. Do you want me to just kick myself in the dick? Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, Finn talks about the dick dicks a lot. It's, it's really what the weird. fuck? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I for, yeah for Babylon Fall again. I'm all. Fine. I thought it looked cool. I didn't feel, like. I thought the areas were kind of generic. We obviously didn't get a look at the story. Like. It's really, to me, this was too soon. Like, you could tell this game is in, like, yeah, it's one of those trailers where you could tell, like, this was almost like a tech demo trailer. Um, because to say info coming next summer, I'm like, holy shit, how fucking far away is this game? If we're getting more, in- that means E3, basically. Like, they're just saying we're going to see <laughs> more at E3. And I'm like, what the, why show me this right fucking out? So it was really weird. But again, obviously, Platinum, I mean, it looks cool. So uh, then obviously the big one was Resident Evil 3 remake officially confirmed. Yeah. And uh, Cap- Capcom can do ro- no wrong, man. Con- continues to kill it. I am so fucking excited for this. It just looks polished. Mm-hmm. As hell. It looks like it's going to be a blast. And it got a, a release date of April 3rd. Next year <laughs> continues. Just after yeah. March. Yeah. Just after it's like I can't believe how fucking insane next year is, dude. It's the first, the, the first like five six months are like are in. I can't believe it. All, like, all, this the, all these counting. all these brand new games and all these like extreme like all these remakes of like old games. And the game I'm most hyped for is basically a remaster of a two year old game. Judge. <laughs> oh, which way? Which one? 
Uh, well, I said, I said, uh, I said the game I'm most hyped for is a is a remaster of a two year old game, basically. <laughs> oh, what what can be, Hafeel? What can be? That, Jesus Christ. Yeah, what I, game I will be what? What Man. game is Tony Hill, Wait, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. He's talking about Persona Five. What the fuck? Uh, how oh, can he said remaster of a two year old game? What is his bro, favorite I love game? Persona. Oh, I thought he was talking about Tokyo. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> I thought I, I thought I made it obvious. <laughs> I guess. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm stupid. Jesus. I'm why? Stupid. Why did this man do? Just, stupid. just fail, fail. Do you have a bridge there? Close to hey, 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 hey! I said I was the host of the game sketch. I didn't say I was smart. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. I, I should have just said the name of the game. I'm, I'm no, no. I'm, I'm dumb as shit. It's fine. It's fine. No, no, oh, no. no. I, was, I was being weird about it. I'm sorry. I'm hyped as shit for Persona 5 of the Royal, man. Let's same, go. Same, I'm same. Excited. Let's go. I'm, I'm, go- I'm glad. I actually beat Persona 5. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm, I'm just glad you guys are hyped. You're not, you're not part of like... Because I remember... No, I'm not Ra- part of those assholes. I remember Resident I Evil 3 like, like shortly... Yeah, shortly after the release date for like RE3, people were like, oh, P5R is dead. It's dead. Shut the fuck up, guys. Yeah. You're, you're all about to be... <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> Anyone who thinks P5R is dead and that it's a shit game should actually... Oh. I'm actually going to beat the shit out of you live on Twitter. Also, that, that steel is really nice. It comes with... It's really, really nice. It is. It is. I can sing the song if you want. The, no, do it. Please, do please, it. Please, no, no. Please don't. Please don't. I don't want to kill me. Okay, okay. I won't. Okay, I won't. I won't. I won't. Um, so <laughs> that said uh, that. We also had a Nindy showcase. It was kind of shitty. Like, come on. What the fuck was that? We got like... What are like... Come on, dude. The fuck, Nintendo? Bro, this show actively makes me want to Persona 3 myself. Dude, I'm not talking about Persona right now. I'm talking about the dumb indie show. <laughs> it was so you shitty, bro. The, the fucking joke. Why are you so dumb today? Bro, fuck <laughs> off. <I'm> so, oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 dumb. I just missed. I just got it. I just got it. Ah, oh, man. I fucking hate... Whatever, bro. Remember, you can't remember. have an... You can't have an indies <laughs> that had Cuphead... <laughs> And one that had Ori, and one that had Cadence of Hyrule, and then give me this one where you show me a bunch of games that like fucking seven people care about. Fuck the Skatebird. Yeah, I said. Fidel, it. are you serious right now? What's up, Noah? What's I'm up? I'm gonna have to cancel you for saying. <laughs> you really just said that? You're getting canceled right now. Get uh, right, kid. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. So those were the uh, announcements and shit of the week, basically. So again, the year is, is kind of, it's over, kind of. I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's a wild thing. It uh, what else? This, it's a good same, this right? year was... Dragon Ball and Kingdom Hearts. This year was good, but it was, it was a really good year in gaming. But next year, yeah, I think next, next year looks to be the VR, most insane year yes, in like over a decade. Uh, no, no, I think uh, next year is going to be like... If you're like interested in all these games coming out, especially like when we have no idea. What Cyberpunk, say, Final Fantasy, Persona, Fantasy Persona Five, Anim- Animal Crossing, dude. dude I we can't. still don't know when. Like we still don't know when Xenoblade. No, I I, I know, out. and I think it's gonna be May Pretty June. Much. May September. June. September. No, no that's no. a terrible no, release date. March. September. September. Are you serious? Dude, that's a, that's when it's gonna come out. I'm telling you. No, it'll it'll out. either be December or it'll you're be wrong, May June. Though. No, it'll be September. Okay. Okay, and I'm I'm probably gonna be dumb asking this, but like historically, have have like like have any like triple A like JRPGs ever come out during the summer? Uh, uh oh, no. Only reason AAA? only reason I say no, it's not triple A. Only reason I say first half of the year is because they showed it off, but again, they showed Luigi's Mansion and it released later. I think it's yeah. December, I, I, and I think they're going to stick with it. Torna released in September. Yeah, but Torna was a DLC expansion. Xenoblade 2 released mm-hmm. December 1st, 2017. So you think it's going to be December? Yes. They're going to kick well, Breath oh, of so the Wild 2 later. Breath of the Wild 2 in November, and then they're going to throw Xenoblade. You Xeno. literally just said May. You literally just said June or May. That's a possibility. The fuck? How did you go from May oh, to December? God. Those are okay. two completely okay. different I think months. it's... <laughs> and then, and then, <laughs> to talk about to talk about other games in 2020, we still have at least nine other games from Nintendo, with Bro, keeping Nintendo up with their other stuff. Why is so specific? Why nine? Because that's if you add, they have three revealed right now, and the minimum they've had with the Switch is, uh, is twelve. So published wise, uh, please. 
Also, we had another announcement that I think Pyo should uh, talk about. Magic the Gathering MLB, is a sponsor no, of this episode? <laughs> MLB The Show has uh, dished <laughs> PlayStation oh. and gone multi-platform. Why, why do you even care about baseball? What was that? I don't. I mean, oh you, you, are, you, dude, dude, are you shitting me? Every time this year you tried to defend PlayStation, <laughs> we had MLB The Show. It was, uh, I don't it was care. a great exclusive. You can't. No, okay. <laughs> okay, all I'm going to say Fuck is off. this. It's a baseball game. Okay, it's listen. Baseball. It doesn't I know, matter. I know someone who's even you crazier than Pio, Sony fanboy-wise. It's, it's I, I No, no. This guy on Twitter was like, oh, yeah, well, I trust me and I would know. Jim Ryan <laughs> is mad. Like, bro, you wouldn't know. <laughs> like, like, he's like... Jim Ryan hates this so much. This wasn't his Why? idea. Like, dude. <laughs> the fuck? No, but it, I'm just saying. There's this. There, there are Sony fanboys way worse than Pio. This Jim one, Ryan's a bitch. Dude. This one Sorry, in particular. Sorry. This one in particular that I know. <laughs> the one that uh, that was that was talking about Jim Ryan. <laughs> but, hey, Fidel. <laughs> Fidel. <laughs> Fidel. You can uh. He only refers to Sony as Sony Interactive Entertainment. You cannot refer to it as Sony because it could be. We could be talking about Sony Films. We could not be talking about Sony Films or Sony Music. Oh my God! He's one of Sony Interactive Entertainment's PlayStation Five. <laughs> I have and no then, contact with those people. <laughs> and then uh, the final news topic is about the NP listing for November, uh, which is the last major sales month of the year. So let's go through the top 20 best-selling games of November. So number 20 was Mortal Kombat 11. Not Death Stranding. Number 19. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Number 19 is GTA 5. Number 18 is Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Number 17, <laughs> Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Okay. Number 16, Breath of the Wild. Number 15, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Number 14, Just Dance 2020. Number 13, The Outer Worlds. Number 12, Borderlands 3. Number 11, FIFA 20. Number And then the top 10. Number 10, Luigi's Mansion 3. And that's not counting digital sales. Need for Speed. Yes, Heat. it is. No, it's not. It has a, No, Nintendo does not include digital sales in NPD. You don't know anything, clearly. Uh, it says it does in the... Uh, no, it does. The, when it has a little star on it, it means it doesn't include digital sales. Yep. Know your shit, bro. Number nine is need. That's probably why you think Days Gone sold well. Number nine, Need for Speed. <laughs> Number eight, NBA 2K20. Number seven, Death Stranding. So actually, that's kind of a dick showing for it for its that's debut tough. month. Uh, number six, Madden Dang. NFL. Number five, Pokemon Shield. Number four, Pokemon Sword and Shield Double Pack. And number three, Pokemon Sword. So Bruh. if those three were combined, they would have been number one. But because obviously, they're all separated, they take three different slots. Number two, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order obviously makes sense. And obviously, number one, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. Uh, important things to note of this, that in now in the U.S., Smash is the best fighting game in the U.S. Um, Pokemon actually had the biggest debut for a Pokemon game ever in the U.S., which is pretty insane. Um, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. What the fuck? <laughs> Pokedex. Um, Pokemane? Pokemane? Had some Pokemane. Oh, I love Pokemane. Oh, we're not yeah, we're well aware, man. <laughs> let's keep it, keep it, uh, let's keep it PG, bro. Um, and I think those are most of the big stats. And then we all wait. <laughs> he, 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 he really was like, like don't, stop don't it, expose it, me. It. Don't expose me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and then basically, so then we have in the US the top 10 best selling games of the year so far, not in November. So number 10 is Anthem. Number 9 yeah. is Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Number 8, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Number 7, The Division 2. There's number obviously, 6, Kingdom Hearts. Hey, Bro. there's obviously a bias because you're changing your tone depend depending yes, on right. the game. Bro, fuck them. The worst one is number 5, Mortal Kombat. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this live on this podcast, okay? I'm gonna say, who's ready for this? Okay? Ed Boon, please be yeah. watching. Fuck Mortal Kombat 11. Shit game for shit gamers, okay? If you like Mortal Kombat 11, oh, your wow. opinion should be revoked. You should never <laughs> be allowed to play a fighting game ever again, and you shouldn't be allowed to have opinions, okay? Man, that is so uh, funny because I remember you hyping it up in d December. Wait, I, what? <laughs> Last year in December, I, I was hyped, after yeah, the game awards, you were hyping it up it like crazy. Game. 
And then it was a shit game. I don't know what the fuck to tell you. Number four is Borderlands 3. <laughs> number three, Madden. Number two, NBA. And number one, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So, of course. Yeah. Kind of a whatever list. And so that's the news. That's everything. The game awards sucked ass. But it's okay. Now we have December to just chill out, play games. And I think uh, next week's going to be cool for anime fans because we're going to have Anime Expo. But yes, also next week we'll probably do our game. of, or Maybe we'll do our top five or top ten. Jeff, are you here next week or are you officially gone? Uh, I don't know. I don't know yet. Oh my okay. god, Jeffrey, okay. please. Jeff, don't oh. ditch us, bro. Don't be a bitch. Bro, yeah, no, I, I should finish Fire Emblem for them. So. Yeah, finish Fire Emblem. Why, why, then... why are you keeping like, the news, of, the, the rumor about the Horizon going on TV? <laughs> There's no it. it didn't happen it's though. Rumor. It's a rumor. No, they didn't, didn't say Game of They didn't say Game of Oh, they didn't say. I think no, it might happen, bro. No, no one, nobody said Game of I it think happen. it'll happen. If it happens, uh, okay, 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 let's do it. Okay, if what do you happens, gonna say? Uh, old truck and stab me. Okay. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll wait, wait, you. wait, what? Wait. wait. <laughs> What's wait, happening? Wait, who am I stabbing? <laughs> if Horizon comes to PC, you can stab Pio. Oh. Um. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, I don't think I will. No, I uh, <laughs> said, no, don't think no, I will. No, I don't think I it's will. It's not that I don't. It's not that I won't. It's just that it's that you Horizon won't. on PC. I'm, I'm trying to think about it. Yeah, I think it could happen. Yeah. Okay, I got. Oh gotta shit! Go. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh shit! It's time for some stabbings. Hey, all right. Anyways, no. that is our <laughs> podcast. <laughs> don't think I will. No, don't think I will. Don't think and to remind everyone, thank you for tuning into this episode of the Games Cage Podcast. We are sponsored by Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering. Uh, no, I uh, don't think I will. It's free to play, by the way. And it's free to play. You can play Magic the Gathering. And we are published by No, I uh, don't think I will. <laughs> no, I uh, don't think I will. We are sponsored no. by Endgame. No, I, uh, Boy, I don't <laughs> think I will. <laughs> like, uh, no. <laughs> No, no, I, uh, no, I don't yeah. think I will. I, I don't think what? I will. <laughs> That's it. Peace out. That's it. We did it. Crazy <laughs> as fuck.